here we go. All right. Again, welcome, everybody. I'm so excited to have you here. Thank you for being with us on a Saturday morning. Beautiful morning, by the way. Uh, my name is Val, and I've been with doTERRA for almost 10 years. And I, I'm, I'm so excited to be able to do this. Thank God that I have the opportunity to share something so encouraging and so powerful in my life. I'm a cancer survivor. And because of that um, I, is because I is the reason why I started doing doTERRA. Um, I was diagnosed with cancer in 2010. And the doctors gave me a very sad solution. They said to me, well, you just do what we tell you to do. And then you go on living your life the way you were living it before. And I was depressed, depressed, because I thought to myself, okay, so what you're telling me is that you have full control of my health. And on top of that, I'm going to go back to the foolish things I was doing before. And I'm going to get sick again. And I'm going to end up in your office. And I have no power and no control. So I went home. I got on my knees. I prayed. And this is what God gave me. He gave me natural health. So I pursued it with all my heart. I live my life like this. And so I'm super encouraged to share it with you. Let's get started. So first of all, I want to tell you, I'm really big on education. I never stop learning. So make sure you mark your calendars for the upcoming workshops, okay? So we have May, June, July, August, September, and October already planned. And we usually do the workshops on the second Saturdays of the month. So make sure you come and you join us and bring friends. Your friends do not let friends live without this information. All right. So uh, real quick, I want to know if we have, do we have anyone new to doTERRA? Because if you're new, then I can go ahead and talk about this. Unmute yourself and just let me know. I'm new. Anybody new? Okay. If we have no new people, I'm going to skip this slide and this slide, and we're going to go straight into doTERRA. So uh, doTERRA is the number one essential oil company worldwide. We are completely transparent, exclusive. There's no one that has doTERRA essential oils. Everything else that you see in the market has no regulation. Uh, the oils could certainly be adulterated. They're not honest. They're not committed. And um, they are not doing things the way we want them to be done ethically. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about uh, our co-impact sourcing, and I'm talking about our source to you. Every single bottle of doTERRA essential oil and every product is certified pure therapeutic. Great. So what I, I want to show you something really quick that I, I don't think I've shared with people, but I want to share it with you today because I think I, I see so many things and then I don't share them with you and then I feel bad. So I'm going to open this up and let me know if you can hear the sound, please. doTERRA provides the highest quality pure essential oils the world has to offer from the source to you. With a focus on purity and potency, our sourcing team searches the planet, identifying the best sources and partners for each essential oil. This global botanical network of trusted growers, harvesters, and distillers allows us to source over 100 different essential oils from more than 40 countries. doTERRA works directly with local growers and harvesters to ensure they are empowered and paid fairly for their care and work. We join these communities in creating and supporting jobs through sustainable sourcing practices. We also invest in infrastructure and training and serve communities through humanitarian projects in coordination with the doTERRA Healing Hands Foundation. After an essential oil is distilled, it undergoes rigorous third-party testing. This CPTG standard guarantees that each essential oil is pure and contains no added fillers, synthetic ingredients or harmful contaminants. doTERRA essential oils are the most tested and most trusted in the world making them safe and effective for you and your loved ones. From the source to you. Awesome.
Awesome. Thank you so much for watching that video. I wanted to share that with you because a lot of times what, what happens is that I see all these things, I'm exposed to them, and then I forget to share them. So I want you to know that we are backed up with uh, doctors and scientists, amazing growers, distillers, si everything that you can think of doTERRA has thought about it. And then we bring that to you. So this is a very exclusive and very special thing that is happening with doTERRA. So in saying that, uh, let's talk a little bit about immunity, right? We, we want to make sure we stick to the to what we said we were going to talk about. And then how, how healthy are we being? How much can our bodies endure? And before I, I, I knew about, you know, my story with cancer, I, I was, I knew what I wanted to do, but I didn't know how to do it. I, I was pretty confused. I, I didn't know like, you know, what time I should go to bed, what foods I, I could stay away from and what foods could cause health in my body. So my immune system was kind of like a roller coaster, right? Nobody was telling me, like, I knew some things, but nobody was saying, hey, Val, go to sleep early, Val. Don't be stressed. Don't allow stress to overtake your life. Don't um, bring all those chemicals into your home. I, I, I had no guide. And so I kind of just was rolling through trying to figure this out. Um, you know, drinking was something that I, I did because it was part of my culture, eating fried foods and things like that. And so my weight would go up and down. And it was really a tough place to be because I just didn't know. Uh, I didn't have a plan. And so I'm so grateful that even though I, I don't know if anybody has heard this before, but, um, you know, the Bible says rejoice whenever you face trials of many kinds. And I have to say that is my life story because I faced a serious trial of cancer but it led me to find solutions and it led me to find the plan that I needed, which was super, super simple. And so right now what, what the system has created is a dependency. We're dependent on someone taking care of us instead of us knowing how to take care of ourselves. So when we talk about the medical system, um, I feel like what we've seen in the past two and a half years is a lot of fear-based care. You know, don't do this, don't do that, don't go here, don't go there. And, and it's all us becoming dependent on them instead of them educating us, hey, what do I do to be the self-empowered person that I would like to be? And so we're going to demystify some of the things that we have seen in the in the last you know couple of years. How do we take our power back? How do we become independent from a system that honestly I feel it's broken? I feel it's expensive, and I feel it leads people to sick care, not health care. Health they shouldn't call it sick. I'm sorry, health care. They should call it sick care because from what I see is people become dependent on it, and then. It, it, it just, it's like a vicious cycle. So we're going to talk about how do we get out of this system that's broken, right? So um, we, we got together today to talk about the immune system. And I'm very passionate about the immune system, as you can obviously tell. Um, the immune system is powerful. Your immune system is free and it protects your body from harmful substances, germs, and cell changes that could make you ill. It is made up of various organs, cells, and proteins. So the immune system is free. We have it, it works, and we're gonna learn how to take care of it, how to strengthen it. But at first I wanted to give you a quick glimpse because I don't think people even know what the immune system is because they don't tell us. And its job is to fight disease causing germs, pathogens like bacteria, viruses, parasites, fungi, fungi, whatever you pronounce that, and to remove them from the body. It is to recognize and neutralize harmful substances from the environment and to fight disease causing changes in the body, such as cancer cells. So it is activated. It actually gets activated when we're exposed to things that it doesn't recognize at its own. These are called antigens. For example, uh, when things come into our environment, like bacteria and viruses, our bodies, our immune systems start flexing themselves. So it's actually healthy to be exposed to, um, to things that are maybe harmful because your body immediately starts flexing its muscles and it starts saying, hey, you know, we got to work on this. 
So when you are, um, I don't know if you, I've heard this since I was a kid that kids would, you know, play on the floor and they would, you know, eat things that they shouldn't eat. And they would put what well, that was actually building the immune system because your body, the things that it becomes exposed to, it becomes strengthened against. So when those things come around again, the, the, the negative stuff, the germs, the viruses, the bacteria, what happens is your immune system says, hey, I recognize this and I can deal with this faster. So that to me is very exciting. It's very liberating because I know that my free immune system works. All I need to do is boost it, protect it, and make sure that I strengthen it. So this is, this is something very, very important that I feel like, why aren't we teaching this more instead of fear? Because fear can actually debilitate your immune system. So that's a little bit about how the immune system works. Uh, okay, here's a secret. This is the secret to simple wellness. And then I'm going to go dive deeper into this. So eating right, exercising, resting and managing stress, reducing the toxic load taking care of ourselves naturally. And then when you go into your doctor's office, make sure that your doctor and you have a great relationship, that they understand that you are into natural health and wellness. You're empowered. You don't want to use things that are going to harm your body, that are going to have negative side effects. Partner up with people who think like you, act like you, and believe in the same things that you believe in. It's called equally yoked, right? So I love that I have someone like this in, in Reading. I actually go to her and when I don't feel well, and she asks me, because she, she, she asks, you know, what can I do for you? And then I tell her, hey, you know, this is what I'm looking for. This is how I'm feeling. And then she says to me, um, great, like, let's partner up and figure this out. And I said to her, you know, Molly, I'm sorry, her name's Holly. I said, I really appreciate the way you helped me. And she said, Val, she goes, I have an education, but you're experiencing this. And you, I believe that you, you, tr you believe in your body, you trust it. And you, I know that you want to take care of it a certain way. So we got to be partners. So I love that about my healthcare uh, provider. So make sure you have someone like that. All right. Let's dive into water intake. This is going to be a priority when it comes to health and wellness. So drinking at least um, what your body is in ounces in, I'm sorry, drink in ounces what your body weight is in pounds and add two to three drops of a citrus oil to each 20 ounces. So citrus oils, believe it or not, are super powerful for your immune system which is, um, you know, everything that has to do with our cells because of the limonene. So it's cleansing, it's protecting. So every time you're drinking water, making sure that you're putting those citrus essential oils. My favorite ones are grapefruit, um, slim and sassy, lemon. And then of course, some people have a little bit of digestion issues that you want to clear out. And then you want to use oils like Digest Sen and peppermint. But because these oils tend to be a little bit stronger than the citrus essential oils, I love to just put them directly in the body under my tongue or even rub them over my stomach. So I prefer to drink the, the citrus essential oils because they taste very mild in my water. They're very refreshing. They're very cleansing. So this is going to be something really, really powerful to do for your immune system. Make sure you have those oils in your purse, in your bag. In, in your car, if it's not too hot outside, you don't want to leave your oils in the heat. So another important thing to do is to make sure that you are having the right nutrition. Make sure you're eating um, three times a day. And one of the things I, I pray about eating because eating has gotten so confusing, so difficult. It's like I, I struggle with eating. I don't, anybody else struggle with eating? Please put it in the comments. Uh, raise your hand. Just let us know. I struggle with eating too. I struggle with what do I eat? What time do I eat? How much do I eat? Um, it's just gotten so confusing because we hear so much information. But what I found after all the years, after being vegan and raw vegan and eating cooked foods and all this crazy nonsense is just to keep it simple. Eat um, within half an hour of you waking up and eat 
small amounts and eat organic, non-GMO, which means they're not pouring pesticides and chemicals over your food. Take your supplements every single day. Um, this is something that I started doing 12, 11 years ago because when I was diagnosed with cancer, the doctor that I went to who was a naturopath put me on supplements. And I've been on supplements ever since. And I truly believe that God led me in that direction because I am so, thank you, Jesus, healthy. I exercise every single day. I live an extremely active lifestyle. My mood is, I, I love my mood because I'm always smiling. I always feel good. And when I don't feel good, I grab my oil. So I really feel that supplements changed my life. So I want to encourage everybody here today that even if you're eating the rainbow colors and you're eating healthy and you're eating organic and you're eating three times a day and you're eating small meals, please consider making sure that you are diligent and, and on time with taking your lifelong vitality. You take two of each bottle with two meals. Also your terrazyme, because that's going to break down all of the food that you're eating to a metabolic state, which means you're going to be absorbing it at a cellular level, which is what your metabolic system needs to function, to be active, to be empowered, energized, because if your system is not getting nutrients, then your chemistry is lowered, your energy is lowered, and you're not going to feel well, and your immune system is going to tank. Uh, another thing that I do is I create smoothies, okay? I have a daily smoothie. Uh, you can do the nutrition line with doTERRA. I also do the greens because sometimes I don't eat a lot of uh, greens and vegetables and fruits. So I love, I love, love, love the doTERRA nutrition line. Please check it out. And one of the reasons why I recommend doTERRA is because I'm very high on quality. Everything that doTERRA has is certified pure therapeutic gray. And also the cool thing about that is that everything is grass fed. Uh, sourced uh, the right way and being fair to the people that we get these products from. I love, love that part of the impact that we have around the globe. Clean all produce with On Guard soap and lemon oils. So you can create a little wash um, and, you know, just have a variety of essential oils for their different constituents because essential oils, um, I, was, I always share this with people, you need to be using different oils. Don't get stuck on the same oil every single time because your body begins to recognize that chemistry and it wants to play with new chemistry. It's like when you get a new toy or a new outfit or a new pair of shoes, your body's like, oh my gosh, like I love this outfit. It's new. Well, it's the same thing with essential oils. Don't get stuck on the same um, oils every single time. And then make sure you're catching a little sunlight. It's really good for you. So don't be afraid of the sun. It's actually harmful for you not to be getting that sunlight. Uh, reducing toxic load. Uh, I'm super huge on get. I got rid of all the chemicals. I got rid of the microwave in my house in 2010. I cleaned house. Nobody in my house is allowed to use chemical and that chemicals. And that's why I trust every single doTERRA product for my cleaning. I love DIYs and I'm gonna share some recipes in a few minutes. The skincare, uh, I love it. I love their body care. If I don't buy it from doTERRA, I will make it, but I refuse to buy products that are gonna compromise my health. So this, these are products that I highly recommend. Um, sleeping, okay, that's not my feet, but I love this picture. My favorite and very successful tips for sleep. If you're not sleeping, ladies and gentlemen, you are going to get sick, okay? So you wanna make sure that you are sleeping and you're sleeping comfortably. You're sleeping eight hours. If you're, if the things that I shared earlier are gonna help with sleep, but um, I wanna let you know my tips because my tips are great. I've, I've had people tell me, my gosh, you know, ever since you shared those tips with me, I've slept so much better. So I go to sleep between 9.30 and 10 every single night. I refuse as a cancer survivor to allow anything to come into my life to deplete my energy, my strength, my vitality, and my immunity. So going to sleep early is extremely powerful. So you want to go and sleep. Um, okay, we're just going to mute this. We're going to go to sleep at between 9.30 and 10. 
And then I usually take a Serenity soft gel, my probiotic. I put on my uh, face oils, which are very calming. I use uh, Serenity and I put that on my body. And uh, the oil, I use also Clary Calm essential oil, which is soothing, calming for the hormones because I'm a hormonal gal. So I need all the, if you see me here and I look like I'm healthy, it's because I do all this stuff. It's not, it doesn't just happen. Like when people see me, they, they, somebody said to me one time, you're just lucky. I go, no, I am not. I do the work. So we got to do the work. So I go to sleep at 930. I set up an alarm to wake up eight hours from 930. So 536 AM is my wake up time. I exercise, um, at around 7.30, 8 a.m., because that is going to balance your hormones so that at night you can get a good night's rest, getting a little bit of sunlight, eating three meals, eating before 6 p.m. is going to be powerful. Uh, it's also going to help with the, the rest and the wake-up time because you're not going to feel sluggish because you ate too late. So making sure if you go to sleep really late, what's going to happen is you're going to eat late and that's going to disrupt your hormones. Drinking at night is the worst thing that you can do for sleep. It'll disrupt your sleep patterns. So you do not want to eat late. You do not want to stay up late and you do not want to drink at night. If you're going to drink, because I'm not, I don't have anything. I don't drink because it doesn't do me right. But if you're going to have a glass of wine or something like that, it would have to be earlier, maybe around, uh, you know, five or so, so that it doesn't interrupt your sleep. We also have um, the doTERRA sleep ebook. I'm going to show you how cool this is because you have access to all of this. So we have a whole ebook. You can print this and um, it talks about all the oils that you can use, how to use them, the importance of sleep. So all of this is available to you. Like I said, we are really big on education. So we want to make sure that you have access to this. So uh, I'm going to put this in the chat so that you have it and you can just click on it and, um, oops, that's not it, sorry. So that you can click on it and, and make sure you share this with your friends because a lot of people are suffering right now from sleep issues and this will really take its toll on your health. It will take you to a place where you certainly don't wanna be in. So um, if you have questions, please put them on the chat. We have Carol, we have Angela, Trisha that can answer. I want to make sure I go through this information because I want you to have this. All right. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite talk. Your mindset equals your power. Do not allow anyone to take your power away. Um, my favorite oils to use when I am going downhill when it comes to my mindset is the adaptive line. It is the most beautiful thing that doTERRA has launched and created when it comes to our nervous system, calming us, relaxing us. When you're feeling overwhelmed or you're surrounded with negative people, negative information, the first thing I want to encourage you to do is withdraw yourself from situations you are not comfortable with. Do not stay there and don't be grudgy about it. Just excuse yourself. I got to go for a walk. I got to go for a run. I got to go catch some sun, drink a smoothie outside. But take one adaptive capsule, um, diffuse three to four drops of adaptive. I have my diffuser on my desk, but I also have a car diffuser. So right now we have the pilot diffuser that doTERRA is selling with the Malama blend. Get that diffuser because that is a diffuser that you're going to take in your car. And that's a diffuser that you can take to the park and diffuse your essential oils. Roll adaptive on the pulse points over the heart. Take three deep breaths while breathing in the blend. Think about what is most important to you and for you to do within the next one or two hours. I love when I'm frustrated and I'm, I'm feeling overwhelmed. I take a walk. I pray. I clear my mind. And I see myself accomplishing things that I need to accomplish in a positive, confident way. Um, when I'm struggling, I pray. So if somebody is talking down to me or if somebody mean is, you know, in my horizon or I'm struggling with a project, I pray, I, um, I diffuse and I, I control myself. I don't allow things to control me because when you allow things and people to control, you're going to be a roller coaster. And these are excellent tools to use. 
And remember to be self-controlled. Don't expect people to regulate you or people to um, cater to you. Just cater to yourself and be responsible for your own emotions and use these tools to be able to achieve what you're trying to achieve. Uh, Here's a really great daily routine for fortifying your immune system. Uh, I begin my day always on my knees. I pray. I give thanks to God for everything. I know God is on my side. And having that mindset really helps me to live a better life and to care and love on others. I pray. Uh, And then I go into the bathroom. This is kind of gross, but I'm going to share because I want you guys to know. You want to scrape your tongue. So get a uh, tongue scraper because the first thing in the morning that you want to do is you want to start getting rid of all those germs that collected overnight. Okay, get rid of all that by using your uh, tongue scraper, which is the best way to get them out. Because even if you brush your teeth, those could still be lingering on your tongue because they go deep. Um, brush your teeth with on guard toothpaste, which is remineralizing means strengthening your teeth. You want to gargle with the on guard mouthwash at least two to three times a day. Uh, I want to just give you a quick tip. If you have not gotten the on guard mouthwash, you can get a jar of, um, glass and fill it up with water and add, um, my favorite mouthwash is actually six drops of DDR prime essential oil. That is the one oil that I have to say is the strongest to keep my gums super healthy. And it has a blend of different powerful essential oils that I find to be the very best for a mouthwash, a DIY mouthwash. Again, uh, you want to rotate protective essential oils, massage protective essential oils into your chest and your feet in the morning and at night. Choose any of these roller bottles. So the On Guard touch the rose the oregano hallelujah for oregano that is a bacteria buster tea tree frankincense and other protective powerhouse oils to dilute and rotate in would be something like melissa arbor vitae there's that ddr prime that's a powerhouse right there rosemary and eucalyptus So the touch oils come already created for you, but you can always grab empty bottles, put 20 to 30 drops of these essential oils in them, and then fill the rest with your coconut oil. Add two to three drops of a high limonene citrus oil, such as lemon oil, to three three times a day to 20 ounces of stainless, I'm sorry, to 20 ounces of water in a stainless steel water bottle. Don't use plastic. Don't use aluminum. Don't use anything that's going to cause those oils to um, start leaching some of those contaminants into your body. Uh, These are other things that you can do at a drop of Melissa, Copaiba, or frankincense below your tongue each morning and at night. I do frankincense under my tongue because as a cancer survivor, I'm always thinking, you know, I got to protect myself. So I love the frankincense. I do love the copaiba, but I uh, mostly use the frankincense. You want to diffuse. I diffuse all day. It's just my thing. So you want to you wanna diffuse Arbor Vitae and Bergamo in the morning. Those are so powerful to boost immunity, kill whatever's in the air. In the mid-afternoon, On Guard and Peppermint. At night, you want to start getting not just the immune system boosted, but also relaxing and uh, lavender is a great sedative. Breathe will open up the airways. And then every single day you wanna set a schedule because if you don't have a plan, that means you're planning to fail. So you wanna have your breakfast. And again, uh, for hormone balance and for appetite control, have breakfast at least 30 minutes after you wake up. Like for example, today I had Um, a little mini avocado and I had an egg and then I took my supplements. You want to take your supplements with lunch and your breakfast. You want to add, um, besides using your lifelong vitality, you want to add your deep blue polyphenol or your turmeric capsules. These are anti-inflammatory. These are really powerful cellular protection um, blends that we've created. Uh, I love the Mito 2 Max because it gives you loads of energy. It also cleanses the cell receptors, balances hormones, and it keeps you very, very uplifted because if your energy's up, you're just feeling good. 
During bedtime, you want to add one to two probiotics. I say get one into your system because it has 30 uh, capsules in the bottle. So I want it to last you all month. So take one probiotic. It is double encapsulated. It's a pre and probiotic. So that means that it's going to get to the intestinal tract safely and not be destroyed in the stomach acid, which is the most important thing when it comes to a probiotic. And then you can use the Copaiba soft gel, which is all things calming for the nervous system, excuse me, the respiratory system, the digestive system, or you can also use the Serenity soft gels, which happen to be my favorite. Another thing that you can do, this is extra information that I'm giving you because everybody seems to be worried about their immune system and what's out there, the boogeyman, right? So we want to make sure that you're taking uh, enough vitamin D3 with K2 if you're not able to get some sun. But I don't want people to be afraid of the sun. I want you to get at least 15 to 20 minutes of uh, sun in the morning. It's really healthy. Boost your intake of vitamin C to 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams per day. You can actually do more, but I'm just putting that um, just to, you know, just to put that in your mind that you could take more vitamin C, uh, especially if you're feeling run down. Uh, if you have loose stools, when you take vitamin C, that means you're taking too much. Okay. So that will, that that's the way to know, am I taking too much, but you won't die from it, which is really cool. Uh, when you start to feel run down immediately, take a powerhouse on guard soft gel. You can take one to two a day for a few days. I call it, um, actually my on guard soft gels. I call them my antibacterial pills and antiviral because that's exactly what they are. And we can't say that on social media, but I can say it here because you're all my friends and I love you. Uh, or you can make the immune love bomb, which is, um, uh, let's see, I'm gonna actually give you the recipe in a little bit. Also integrate uh, the symphony of the cells, but uh, doTERRA just launched the aroma touch technique again, which we, we've kind of, because we couldn't get together, we had lost our touch with the aroma touch technique. But I want to show you really, really quick where you can find this. This is an exclusive, delicious, authentic way to put all the oils on the spine to create homeostasis. So to learn more about this aroma touch technique, which we should be doing on our kids, we should be doing it on our friends, we should be doing it on our husbands. Whenever you don't feel well and you feel like you're coming down with something, this is what you're going to want to do. Uh, here you can find what is it? You know, how do I do it? Um, what are the steps? So you can find a lot of information and the science behind, and you can actually do a little hen technique on people. I, I, we did it at leadership and it was so delicious that I wanted to do it on everybody. Everybody that I meet with now, I do this on them. And then you can order your aroma touch technique. And we also have the training now. Okay, so we have the training, we have everything. When people get started with the Aroma Touch technique, they will get the training on how to do this with their friends, their family, or whoever um, you want to share it with. So I, I absolutely love that. So um, if you have any questions, put it on the chat, please. I know I'm going through a lot of information, but I want you to be encouraged today. I want you to have this information and I want you to feel really empowered. Uh, here are some of my favorite recipes. Here is the immune love bomb um, that, you know, you can, you can put it in a roller bowl or you can put it in a little capsule and take that internally. You can make your own hand spray. I recycle the, the little plastic bottles that doTERRA sends to us with the um, sanitizing sp spray that they have. You can remake it by adding 20 to 30 drops of on guard and then adding alcohol and fractionated coconut oil. Or if you don't like alcohol, which I don't, you can add witch hazel, okay? It, it's very powerful because it has the on guard. So here's the immunity blend roller. So you wanna add uh, four drops of lemon, two drops of melaleuca. Take a picture of this because a lot of people wanna make stuff at home. These are great recipes. I use these all the time. And I, I would even, you know, dare to say that this is the way to go because this is, has the most savings if you want to create your own stuff and save as much money as possible or give gifts to people. These are great gifts. And then if you go on um, places like Aroma Tools, 
that you could buy labels and make cute labels and give these as gifts. Um, this is an all-purpose spray. If you're not going to buy the uh, abode spray, which is my favorite, you can make this so easy. Uh, I know Trisha is awesome at making these, um, these sprays. I have to say I make all my soaps in my house because the cost is so incredibly low and it's so delicious to be able to have something that you made yourself that you know is completely clean. Um, so for babies, the total oil drops in one roller bowl like this is going to be three to five for kids, five to 10 and for adults, 20 to 30 drops. So you can even add more of this. This is, this is just the basic recipe, but I, I like to add more. So I will just break down the 20 to 30 and I'll split it in these. If you want it a stronger blend. Okay. Um, here are more fun recipes for your house. Uh, here's again that immune love bomb that, that I got from one of our top leaders. And I've been using this for years. Every time I get sick and I don't have the On Guard soft gels, I use this right here. You can get this on your doTERRA website, the empty veggie caps. And then you put two drops each of these essential oils. And uh, you can take one capsule in the morning and one at night. Um, you know, you, for me, I just do one at, in the morning, one at night, and then the next day I feel amazing. But if you still feel like you need a little bit more, you can take, uh, you can take it again the next day. Be mindful not to exceed four drops of essential oil internally in other ways to stay within a daily limit of 24 drops internally. So the max you should be doing internally daily is 24 drops. Uh, this is a sore throat spray. Uh, fill a 30 ml spray bottle halfway with doTERRA IQ Omega fish oil. Then add 10 drops of On Guard, seven drops lemon, and five drops copaiba, and top up with filtered water. Put it in the fridge, and just every time you go by the fridge, spray your throat. This is a cool sinus steamer. So if anybody has any sinus issues, get a warm cup of water, put one drop of lemon, peppermint, oregano, tea tree, and then breathe in the steam with a towel over your head to clear and open up all the airways naturally. With oils, I don't think any of us need to be suffering. We have great solutions for absolutely everything.